Hey y'all, my name's Karina, and I'm going to be painting FKA Twigs, who, if you did not know, is the most gorgeous woman to walk this earth. I'm going to be painting on this oil and acrylic canvas paper by Canson. I got it from Walmart, and it's actually pretty good quality. And I prefer it all for canvas, actually, because there's a lot more of it, and it's not as expensive as an entire fucking canvas. And I'm going to be using this Artist Loft oil paint, as well as a few paints from Gamblin. Yeah, that sounds right. And this painting took about, well, it took the span of like a week, maybe, because I paused every like three days to let it dry for each layer, because, you know, oil paint takes forever to dry. And I used a grid just so I could put less emphasis on the line art and more emphasis on the shading and colors and all that good stuff. And since I'm new to oils, it kind of made sense to do that too, because, you know, if I'm going to be focusing on one thing, I want it to be the thing that I am kind of new to. So yeah, um, I think using a grid is valid as long as you're not like dependent on it. I think I talked about that in another video, or maybe that was tracing, I'm not sure. But either way, I think you're valid. I think it's valid. Anyways, uh, how are you? How are you doing? I mean... I've been same old, same old, doing art every day. I actually started trying to do a little more anatomy instead of just like head on, full on, um, words, I don't know words, um, like full on just heads. I want to do more bodies, you know, because body positivity and stuff. I want to like, I want to, yeah, I want to do that more. So I'm going to be starting to study a little more anatomy, I think. Yeah. Oh my god, I had tiramisu for the first time tonight. It was so good, and my boyfriend doesn't like it, but oh my god, I love it. I like the, how do you say it, like, I like how it's not overly sweet, it's kind of bitter, you can taste like coffee and rum in it, and I love desserts like that. And it's like soggy and cold, and I like soggy and cold desserts. I don't know, I'm kind, I'm kind of weird, I'm kind of quirky, <laughs> but um. Yeah, I, I like those funky desserts. I like Indian desserts a lot because, I don't know, something about them. I mean, maybe it's because I'm Indian, but I don't know. Something about funky desserts that just aren't American make me, like, so happy. I don't know what it is. This angle is about to be horrific. I'm so sorry for that. It's like, this straight on angle just makes it so reflective as you can see, but it'll be over soon, I promise. Hmm, what should I talk about? Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah, um, as far as shadows go in painting, like, I guess like using black isn't bad, but also like using it more like dark interesting colors, like a dark purple as opposed to black or brown is like, <clears throat> chef's kiss. Um, it's just so, it's so interesting, you know? I like using purple as shadows, it just adds to the vibe, you know? Um, but do what you want. Honestly, I'm not like a professional or anything as you can see. I'm like 16 years old. As far as the whole oil painting experience goes for me and the process, I don't know what I'm doing. But, um, since I am pretty well versed in acrylics, I am applying the same kind of, um, functionality to it. And I'm kind of using the linseed oil I have as water, like, what, that I would with acrylics, you know? but I'm not, surprisingly not using it as much as I thought I would, so yay me, I guess. I think this is currently my second sitting in this painting. Like, three days have passed since I first sat down and painted, and yeah, I'm kind of going over stuff at this point. If y'all have any oil painting tips that you think I could benefit from, please, please, please let me know because I need to learn stuff. I'm still new to this, so yeah, please let me know. some white highlights and making it pop a little more because you know as an artist you can 
add things that aren't really there to make the piece more interesting. I definitely did not um, follow the exact colors in the reference picture, I, and I definitely like amped up the saturation, so... And I think it looks good. I think it looks fine. Anyway, here's what the piece ended up looking like. It's a little tiny, but that's the point. I'm gonna put it on my wall next to all my other art stuff, and I think it will be a nice addition. I kind of needed something like this because I don't usually put my art on my wall or making- I don't usually make art for my wall. So yeah, this was really fun. And here's what it looks like in the sunlight. I, I think it looks a little different than it did in my room and also it's kind of drier because it's the next day. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope you tune in for the next video. I hope you enjoyed this and I love you. Bye bye.